Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from Kings Landing Sport Fishing. Uh, back, uh, back on the water. First report of the of the season. Uh, super glad to be back. It's uh, Saturday of the May long weekend. I don't know the date off the top of my mind, but Saturday of the May long weekend. Uh, decided to get out in the water and do a shakedown uh, test today, or a shakedown run. So uh, got on the water. I uh, had my uh, my dad and one of our buddies, as well as a couple of my friends. Uh, you know, Matt and John come out and. Uh, you know, do some fishing with me and uh, shake down the boat for the season. See what we could come up with. Anyways, uh, we launched at 6 a.m., uh, got out in the water. After uh, a few problems with my autopilot, which was related to a new stereo that I installed um, and the placement of the speaker, I was uh, we were back on the water and everything was working properly and the autopilot was back in business. So I uh, wanted to keep it simple today. So really just set up with uh, two rigger rods, two diver rods, and... Uh, I wanted to put out two long lines. I put those long lines out on uh, my new otter boats. I got Big John otter boats with a mast on the front of the boat hooked into my Cisco electric wheels. So I wanted to just run a six rod spread. So we set up in front of the filtration plant by Scarborough Bluffs uh, and we wanted to troll, uh, troll west towards the islands. Anyways, long and long and short, um, we did really good. Not going to lie, a uh, really good mixed bag of fish uh, today. We were catching fish anywhere from, I'd say, 120 to 200 feet of water. Um, pretty much, I think, every rod in the boat fired. So, um, you know, I, I, my spread today, I had a five color out. I had a torpedo weighted steel, uh, 200 out. I had uh, two, uh, two slide divers, a standard slide diver and a mag slide diver out. And then uh, two downriggers. Uh, on the downriggers, I'd say it was all about meat. So uh, running a hot fish paddle, hot fish head with some uh, of my own hair and cup bait. Uh, took a number of fish with that. Um, you know, had a, had a, one of my Project Salmon 8-inch um, flashers, a split personality with black dots, with a, uh, um, a Twinkie rig with uh, an anchovy. Took a hit on that as well. Um, had uh, one of my custom uh, orange dot spoons on uh, the five color. Took a number of hits on that. And then we had... Uh, I say a couple of uh, fly on uh, one of the other divers. We had a fly on the way to steel, and we had a fly on, uh, on on the high diver, and took a whole bunch of hits on that. Um, so what I would say is today we went uh, we went fourteen for seventeen today. Um, we had one Atlantic. I think we had three or four kings. The largest king was twelve pounds, um, and then we had a whole bunch of cohos, and I think we had uh, two or three uh, uh, rainbows. But, you know, yeah, to go 14 for 17, it was uh, it was great fishing out of, uh, you know, call it Bluffers or the Ashbridges Islands. Um, what I would say, uh, if you want to go fishing out of Bluffs, I'd tell you my experience was we did not get a fish until we got to the first uh, the first stack down by the Leslie Street spit area. Uh, our fish all came between that first stack and, uh, you know, the red the red cam by uh, by uh, the Toronto Islands Hanlon's area. That was uh, that was really the area of water where we caught all of our fish. Majority of our fish did come as we were trolling west. I think we only had a couple hits trolling east, but more of our more of our time was spent uh, trolling west. Um, but yeah, I'd say the deepest fish came um, down 99 feet. The shallowest fish came on a five color, so call it 20, 25 feet. Um, and uh, you know the 30 and the 40 riggers did a number of uh, number of hits. Um, and then I think I put it at 50, and it took a number of hits too. So. Um, real, uh, real mixed bag, uh, good, um, good first trip out. Can't complain. So I'm going to keep these reports going all season long. That's the plan at least. Um, so today is uh, report number one. If you like the reports, you like the channel, don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button. Helps me out a great deal as an amateur YouTube content producer. And we'll, and we'll, we'll keep them coming. I probably am not going to show you to get out today. Uh, we just had the storm whip through here. Currently have no power in the marina. Um, no big deal. Uh, I'm going to probably just relax and then, uh, hoping to get back out, uh, on the water. Um, probably not tonight, probably tomorrow. And I may just, uh, do some more scouting. I might, uh, instead of going right and going West, I might go East tomorrow and see what I can find, uh, fishing that, that Pickering nuclear plant warm outflow water. So we'll, we'll see what I decide in the morning. Uh, I'm down here all long weekend. Don't have any charters, uh, booked for, on purpose this weekend. This is my shakedown. Make sure the boat's running well. Figure things out and get a sense of what's going on. Anyways, uh, good luck on the water for those of you that are fishing this weekend. I have been hearing reports that there's some good fish out uh, um, 
out of uh, you know Grimsby, guys starting to get them at Brawny and St. Catharines. But for me, uh, you know my boat's at uh, Bluffers. First weekend out, May long weekend. It's Saturday and going 14 for 17. I cannot complain in the slightest. It would have been a fantastic charter if I had one today. Anyways, good luck, folks, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.